the very near future, black women are going to be skipped over. They're going to be avoided by black men if we don't change the way we behave. I want to have your hot girl summer, live your best life and all that. And I ain't tripping on you. I understand we think we can be men. And it's sad to say that we can't. Sometimes it's hard to admit it, but you can't. Why you being a young hoe, guess what? You're going to turn into an old hoe. Because while you're around hoeing, it's somebody ready to be a wife. And they're going to take your husband. So stop doing this shit. And I know somebody's going to be mad at me. And guess what? If you mad, you might be the one I'm talking about. So refrain from putting yourself in the comments. Don't do that to yourself. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls, Nicki Minaj, anything and everything like that should not be your life goals. Before I move further, I want to say I do like Cardi B. I do like Megan Thee Stallion. I don't listen to City Girls. But I respect everything everybody doing and I like some of the music. But would I model my life after it? No. And it's very concerning that these young women are so impressionable. I just seen a clip earlier. There were some young girls, I think they're in London or something. And they were talking to the young men, talking about if you 17, 18, 19, you don't even have your own home, you're staying with your mom, I can't be with you. We're getting these delusional mind frames from all of this shit. Guess it has something to do with the parenting because I know when I was growing up, my dad talked to me about the difference between entertainment in real life and we had those kind of conversations and so i say all that to say megan the stallion cardi b them city girls they be having men they don't live like that they sell that bullshit to y'all it pops in the club and makes you shake your ass but should you want to live like that no we got to do better so don't ruin your life because what's going to happen is i'm gonna tell you black women about to be single black women about to be ostracized black women are about to be avoided black women are about to be cast to the side that's what's happening we want to get mad some of us when we see our brothers getting with other races but the thing is they're tired of dealing with this delusional bullshit they don't even want to plug into that it's like throw the whole black woman away I, I don't want to deal with it they don't want to deal with this lack of self-love that y'all got going on and i'm not bashing anybody who wears body accessories that be weave lashes makeup i've worn this stuff time to time i think that we should have balance though and i think that we should feel comfortable in our fresh face and our own hair and stuff like that we should not be ashamed or embarrassed or scared to be ourselves because we're beautiful man the world started with, with us with black queens and black kings so why do we take on other people's hair why do we take on on a regular though i'm saying on a regular i'm not saying every once in a while it's okay change it up a little bit it's all right but when that's the norm when you can't step out your house without none of that stuff on that's a problem so these delusional mind frames that some of us black women have this walt disney thought process y'all need to get rid of that shit or you're gonna be alone start picking your pets out now I understand we think we can be men and it's sad to say that we can't sometimes it's hard to admit it but you can't why you being a young hoe guess what you're gonna turn into an old hoe because while you're around hoeing it's somebody ready to be a wife and they're gonna take your husband I understand we think we can be men and it's sad to say that we can't sometimes it's hard to admit it but you can't why you being a young hoe guess what you're gonna turn into an old hoe because while you're around hoeing it's somebody ready to be a wife and they're gonna take your husband